I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives, with AfterBuzz TV's Edition Days. Um, I feel like I totally have forgotten how to do this show since I'm doing it. I know. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? What do I normally say? What's happening? Um, all right, we are still quarantined and we are still at home, but we are still here to give you that full dish of this week's episodes of NBC's Emmy Award winning hit soap opera Days of Our Lives. That's round two. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and I'm joined by my gaggle of gals. We have locked up in his room the ever Michael so Mattis. Room. What's up? <laughs> and of course, we have bum ba ba ba. everyone, Chelsea Over Rocker. Reporting from the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> and wrapped in purple, she is. Hi, everyone. Tammy Gavea. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for tuning in live. If you haven't already, make sure you like us and follow us on all social media platforms. We are Dishon Days on Facebook and Instagram and underscore Dishon Days on the Twitter. The at in quarantine is still in ply. And hopefully you are still uh, looking at all of our other uh, recaps that we have. I believe GH Report uh, is still going on. So if you are a lover of General Hospital, make sure you check that out. Oh yeah, and if you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts, make sure you like us and follow us and give us five stars because we always want to know that you like it and love it and want more of it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. And then you guys stick around because coming up later on, we're doing our quarantine check. That's right. We're going to check in with some of your favorite stars from days, days of our lives, just to make sure they're still in, they're still doing a, okay. I feel like I lost myself. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I, maybe I'm too relaxed. That's what's happening. <laughs> well, what did you guys think of this week's episodes of days? It was good. We had a lot of movement this week. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I felt like it was an info week. No, it was more than an info week. There was actual movement. Like, things actually happened this week. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. We finally are getting some story plots wrapped up a little bit, going into the next section. So overall, I thought it was a great week. Wednesday was everything. <laughs> and we had Wednesday. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. I feel, like, I feel like Wednesday was a much-needed break. It was really good timing. I know it wasn't intentional, but it was it was really good timing with everything going on. Yeah. It was just a good a good day to have like an episode to just for fun, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. Well, let's it was very a very very many uh, quite a few giggle moments during that episode. <laughs> there there were a lot of giggle moments. Well, let's talk about all the moments and break it on down. It's now time to start. Dishin day. I keep forgetting Ta -da! Ta -da! the little mini hourglass that I have to like turn it over, but the water bottle will still have to do. All right, so let's <laughs> chit chat about the whole Demera family debacle that happened at Maison Blanche Part Two. Mm -hmm. So much. There was a lot. Um, Where would they find the guard? Say what? You said yeah, where the guard? Where did, where did, did you call him a snack? He was a snack, mm -hmm. right? I, Tony well, called him a meal. <laughs> that was a, meal a super size. Yeah, super size me, please. It's just like, like usually with those guard type roles, they hire very like gruff, I would say. But this guy, I was just like, damn. Yeah, he was very, yeah. Got, got your <laughs> panties in a twine. Hmm? I said, got your quarantine panties in a twine. <laughs> 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 you need to sell those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> quarantine panties. <laughs> it was it was funny seeing um, Anna and Abigail trying to get in. It's mm -hmm. like like people trying to get into like this high exclusive like party, and like they're not on the list, and the things that they're trying to go through in order to get in. I loved <laughs> Abigail's. I loved Abigail's comment to Anna. I was like, "Who are you?" <laughs> and Anna just coming up with all the stuff on the spot and Abigail's just God. like okay yeah that's it 
Yeah, Anna did not hold back. I have to say, if I need to be rescued, I wouldn't mind being rescued by her. Yeah. By Anna? No, her and her shoes. Her stilettos. Make sure That's to have those stilettos. shoes on. My God. Stilettos. Those shoes were clobbering everybody. That's how they got through finally was because of uh, of Anna's shoes. He, mm -hmm. she yep. was able to knock the guard out and they were like, all right, let's go. And I was like, oh, I mean. It's gotta be a heavy shoe to knock a dude out. <sighs> Liz, a heavy I mean, shoe. It's also Chelsea. Dangerous. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I don't think that shoe was knockable out worthy. <laughs> I have, you know, you like could like stab her. somebody with it, but I not like them. give them Which a concussion or anything. <laughs> I mean, she did that too. Well, it's Anna. She yeah, the force with her. <laughs> That's my force. But then again, it's days like yeah. You know, you can you can trip on a sidewalk and die. I know. True. They, I, I, fall lesson. into an open grave. <laughs> yeah. Or, or get shot, fall into a grave, get buried, dig yourself out, walk to the hospital, and okay. Crawl your way out. Kate Roberts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, how about that? Mm -hmm. um, but there was there was so much drama once um, once everyone got inside. Yeah. Uh, we, Let's start with, you know, the simplest, which is uh, Marlena, Stephen O, and uh, John. Yeah. Um, what a, well, first of all, we finally saw John, like, react. I think last week when they left the scene, it was that moment to just kind of stare. But mm -hmm. this time he busted in and was like, get your hands off my wife. And I'm yeah. like, okay, here we go. Yeah, I was, I was ready. <laughs> it's actually for some action. That. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, but then like the tables had turned and like, you know, um, uh, him and Steven O was like wrestling and then Marlena knocked him out. Oh my God, I was so not <laughs> expecting that moment. That I, was like a <clears throat> for me. Yeah, and then like when she had the gun at him and he was like kind of pleading with her to come back and then she just like bawled crying and then like, yeah. Him, I was like, Ooh. snapped her out of it. I was like, let me yeah. take something. true love can take you out of anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> chip or no chip. Right. Where are they getting these chips from, though? Like, can somebody come back as me at some point? <laughs> I, I don't know if someone would. That I don't would... think the world's ready for that yet. No. No. <laughs> what you say? I think that might be team too much. All right. So then downstairs at uh, Maison Blanche too, um, was all the ruckus that was going on with uh, Kristen and Tony and Chad and um, Brady had uh, came in because Chad was about to shoot Tony? I thought he was gonna, I, was I couldn't gonna, remember and I didn't go back and rewatch. I thought he was about to shoot Kristen. He was well, about to shoot Kristen. He had, wait, he had Kristen in the chokehold. Mm-hmm. But the gun pointed at Tony. Yeah, but then right, and then some Brady stuff entered. unfolded. Brady came in, then and then was like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he was about to shoot Kristen, and mm -hmm. then Brady took the Brady bullet. took the bullet. But the bullet only grazed. Yeah. No, I thought the that, I thought the bullet went in and out. He said it went in and out. Yeah. 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 The, I don't but it, it was very odd how Brady seemed to be like, you know, he had the wound and then later in the week, he was completely fine. <laughs> or maybe he would just had the bandages on underneath his, his suit and his blazer or, or whatever. But sure. towards the end of the week, I was, I was like, wait, did he get shot on Monday? <laughs> and yeah, he did. <laughs> so maybe he just, he wore it well. I don't know. Recovery. Just shot on Monday, play baseball on Tuesday. I mean, that's how. <laughs> there you go. That's how it just works out. Um... And then John and Marlena, well, hold up. So John and Marlena are upstairs. They, yeah. she snaps out of her whatever. She still has the chip, mm -hmm. but then they go downstairs because, or, because Stephen O has gone downstairs. Because they hear the gunshot. Yeah. So they go downstairs they the and then yeah. that whole scene starts. Right. <laughs> and when Stephen O leaves, he, he, he's expecting Marlena to finish John off. So right. he's like, great. And that didn't happen. And then- That didn't happen, yeah. Because in the meantime, Anna had uh, 
stabbed him in the eye with her stiletto. Oh my god, that was that was so gruesome, gross. Okay, yeah. Now see, a- here's what I thought. No. I I thought, sorry, Tony. I thought that once she stabbed him in the eye, because I figured the eye had something to do with him being Stephen O. That uh, maybe he would snap out of it. But he did not. Yeah, yeah. But he did point. not. Yeah, I agree with you, Tammy. Yeah. I, I think we had talked about that. Like, oh, maybe the eyes got something to do with all of this. No, I I thought, and I mean, this is taking myself out of Salem land. I was like, oh, they're gearing up for him to turn back in the patch. And the right. only way you can turn him back in the patch is for something to happen to that eye again that was already fixed. So Anna stabbed him in the eye. So that way he loses the eye again and he can go back to wearing the patch so that right. we need the patch again. Right. Which but I, that didn't happen. Well, I no, because he still has I think he still has a chip, like probably where the others, the others seem to be in the neck area. Yeah. So the chip is still there. He still thinks he, yeah. The the eye was independent of the chip that was making him think he's Steven O. I, yeah. I agree with Tony that the, the eye stabbing was just a, a way to get Patch back for when he does turn into Steve again. Mm-hmm. He can be fully Steve because it would be kind of odd to have Steve without the Patch. No. I mean, it wouldn't be for me. Yeah. I would be happy that he didn't have to wear the Patch. Oh. Totally. I was hoping that he wasn't going to have to. I mean, we can still believe he's passed. I feel there's a, there's just, you know, if there's, there's a connection there between like, he's not truly patched without the patch (laughs) in in, in fans' minds. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I can, I can, I can sense that. Um, So yeah, so, so everyone gets taken to the hospital (laughs) and then, um, and then, uh, John goes to see Rolf, who is very concerned about Stefano, mm-hmm. and basically says, well, the only way that that can happen is if you take the chip out of Marlena. Mm-hmm. And I don't think he's further convinced to do it until they go to the hospital and he sees Kristen, and Kristen right. belong to, like, yeah. yeah, father's in ICU, but I can't let you see him unless you do what John says. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and it, there, it was this whole like tongue in cheek wink moment between yeah. John and I'm like, thanks girl, got you boy. You know? <laughs> thanks girl. <laughs> and I really, really, I really like the scene between Kayla and Justin. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, yeah I kind of tuned out. You're gonna have to fill me in there. That well, was my. Did you? Oh. Yeah. Well, basically it I was. I just like their communication. It was. They're it like was, totally honest. You know about what it is? Situation. I can't get it. I can't get invested because I know that once Steve is brought back to being Steve, which it's kind of inevitable that that's going to happen eventually. Like that it, she's going to go back to the conversation they had. That's I know. And so said. I don't need to hear it. Cause I know it's going to happen. You know oh. what I mean? <laughs> but, okay, yeah. okay. Here's the thing though. Let's do a poll like between, between us gals. Are you team Kayla and Justin? Raise your hand. I like them. Yeah, I like them, but I'm not rooting but I for like a future. Patch and Kayla too. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, but are you not rooting for a future because you just already know that when Steve comes back yeah. as Patch, that they're going to be reunited? Yeah, partly. Yeah, we'll take that out of the take that out of the equation. Let's I don't just want to take that out of the totally, equation. I'm well, totally hypothetically, Kayla. Michael Mattis. <laughs> I'm totally hypothetically still no. I'm patching Kayla. And Kayla. I'm not. I'm not Kayla and Justin. Kayla and Justin was a nice filler for while Steve was Stefano, but no, Patch and Kayla need to get back together. Uh, I just don't know. I hate when they introduce new people and you start liking them and then they take them away. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I never, I liked them, but I never really felt like Justin and, Justin and um, Kayla. Kayla, like I liked them, but I never really like formed a, I don't know they were just there for me. I didn't mind them and put it that way. You could tolerate them. <laughs> they were just there. They're I didn't there. mind them. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of want a little bit of a triangle um, once Patch is back. Like, I don't want him and Kayla to be reunited yet. I think it'll be very interesting if they play Justin in the mix and had all three of them. Yeah, but from the, con- the unfortunately, from the conversation that Kayla and Justin had, Justin is so 
no matter what happens, I just want to thank you for our time together. And Kayla, it's like, no matter, same thing. So there's no, like, I'm going to fight for this relationship. Even yeah, though all, you know, chances you know, okay, so are. The part of the conversation yeah. I did here was that exact part. And my takeaway from that was like, okay, this relationship is over. It's over. Yeah. And it's like, well, that's poo-poo. I want you to fight for it. <laughs> And that goes back to that goes back to Chelsea triangle. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. I think it's still a thing where like it's it's all still new too, because what what is it like six or seven months that they've been yeah. together? So I don't know. I was I was liking it, but James Lott Jr. agrees with me, guys, by the way. I, I, I about I, what? Yeah. Or about yeah, I guess I should add he just says he agrees with me. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> you, know, you, you don't even know on what about Patch, and Kayla, about Patch and Kayla coming back together being back together again yeah, yeah. well what, uh, we, what we didn't discuss was how um, before that back at the house how Abigail right. was able to um, take Chad back yeah. Get Chad yeah. back and luckily Chad doesn't have a chip so whatever was going on with him, Abigail was able to get through to him the same way John was able to get to Marlena. So now we have real Chad back, not fake Chad. And Billy was so good because when Chad came back, we knew Chad came back. Yeah, he really played the two, like the, the differences very well. Like, yeah. He, yeah, he did, he did a good job. Yeah, it was just that end episode when he looked at Abigail and he's like, okay, I'm back. Like, you knew that was Chad. It's just like yeah. the look in your eyes on the, at the end of the episode. So mm -hmm. I liked it. It's like, are you testing me? Who are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. La <laughs> she's, like, she's like, La Familia. <laughs> <laughs> Robo, Robo Chad was scary. Like, Robo Chad. That's a yeah. Oh, my God. Well, because it, Billy plays real Chad with kind of like a smirk. A smirk, you know? yeah. He has like kind of a happy go lucky and. Robo Chad flirting. did not. <laughs> yeah, Robo Chad was just following orders and like yes. taking commands. It's like, all right. well, I'm glad that he snapped out of it. But like, there was a moment I was with Kate when he walked in and carried <laughs> a letter opener. He was looking like, who we got here? Like, what's about to happen? And yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, no. Uh, 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 hey, and I was like, oh, okay, Whew, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I like that he and Kate had that kind of that come to Jesus, you know, that reconciliation moment. And he offered to give her her shares back. And she was like, you know what? No. I'm done. I'm yeah. Good. So I'm wondering what they're going to, what, what Kate's next, what's she going to do now then? Yeah. Uh, what what Dave's going to do with Kate? Wouldn't it be interesting, I mean, not to jump, but if her and Ben ever got into business together with uh, Sierra because they're trying to look for jobs too. So, yeah. and that could be an interesting pairing. Mm -hmm. You think he'll go back to being security? At the Demeras? For Demera? No, yeah. no, 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 not no. Demera. Because I kind of got the impression Kate maybe is like, I'm kind of, not that she's done with the Demeras, but she wants to maybe go in her own direction. So, I kind of expected her when there was that scene with um, Roman and Eric at the pub. I kind of expected the end of that to be Kate coming back in and asking for her her waitress her job, job back. back. But then I'm like, eh, I don't want waitress Kate anymore. Yeah, she's I want, served I want, her purpose. But if she's not, you know, because she she went into this whole thing with Stefano before the time jump, she was kind of done. She had a blow up with Victor. And she was like, I'm sick of this male dominated, blah, I'm done. And then when we come from the time, when we came into the time jump, she's a waitress. Um, little did we know she was still with Stefano. So I'm just wondering what the, what, what's she going to do now? If she doesn't want to do corporate, maybe she doesn't want to do waitressing. Gabby's cheek? Maybe you think she... Yeah, Gabby she will bring her on, maybe? Gabby, maybe? I don't know. Well, because Gabby's still part of Demira, right? Yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I don't know. No. Yeah. Um, I did like. But it better be good. I did like the moment, um, the realization that Kristen had that she had been like looking up to a man and admiring him as far as oh, her dad. Yeah. And then he was like, <laughs> as John put it so eloquently, he's a pathetic loser. <laughs> I was like, oh wow. I know. 
All right. But that I was- also I did like the moment between Kristen and Tony. Yeah. It's so weird like though. It's so weird though that. because like now they have this brother sister relationship where 20 years ago they were married. Yeah. <laughs> I always I always have that in the back of my mind. I'm like these these dudes were married before yeah. and now they're like yeah. brother and sister. It's just such a weird it's such a weird dynamic yet I history. Can- yeah. 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 Um all right. Well, that's what happened in there in the Maison Blanche part two. Um, <laughs> oh, but really quick, what did Abigail do with the ring? Did she throw it in a drawer or something? Yeah, yeah. she put it in the drawer. She thought about she thought about putting it on. Yeah. And then she took it off and then she put it in the drawer. That kind of freaked me out when she started to put it on. I thought, oh my god, she's going to turn to zombie Abigail. <laughs> yeah. um, do we do we need any more robo people? No, we can oh be god. done with that. Please. I'm glad we kind of cleared all that up. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, now moving on to uh, Nicole, Eric, Sarah, Xander, Dr. Rayner, and all those people. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of glad that they're wrapping up this storyline because um, it's about to be a doozy once yeah. everything is fan. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I like that Nicole was still being like Nancy Drew about the whole yeah. thing. Like, and this, to- so I've I've noticed a pattern when Nicole mm-hmm. gets on these when she she gets nuggets of information. She knows there's a secret. She goes pull, pulls all of her force into getting the secret, mm-hmm. and then when she has all the information, then she has this what dilemma about, do? well, no. what am I going to do? Do I really need to tell? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, girl, you went through all the trouble. And it, I feel like this has happened before. I'm not sure what storyline it was, but I just remember thinking, this is deja vu. She has all, she mm-hmm. went out of her way to get the information. Mm-hmm. Now that she has it, now she's like struggling, like, oh, well, should I? And it's like, yeah, just go back to Salem and be like, this is what's up. Yeah. But, it's, it's frustrating. But, but of course you like get all the information. And then when you're the, the, then when you're the person with the information and then you're supposed to be the person that tells the information, then I think it puts it all in a different perspective. You know what I mean? Like, now yeah. she has to deliver this news that she, you know, obviously have, have obtained. But then what I found interesting was that, um, and I guess, you know, it, no one has really interacted with baby Mickey. So now Eric has realized the birthmark and now he's starting to question mm-hmm. like what's happening. So there was a moment of like, of like, ooh, I hope that it's, Eric that maybe delivers the news and not Nicole. Nicole. Like the way that Nicole knows, but I would rather it be like Eric that does it. You know what I mean? Y'all don't care either. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I, with this one, point, I'm just kind of I mean, like waiting point, for it to come out. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, Nicole's going to have to say she knew mm-hmm. the truth. I mean, yeah. she can't, even, you know, if Eric does find out and says and say something before she does, she's still gonna have to come forward and say, I knew I knew the truth, that's why I'm in New York and all that. Yeah, because well, she, yeah, she, 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 to she told so, Eric that she was learn. going to New York on business. And then through a conversation with Brady, Eric finds out she didn't go on business because he's not aware of any Brady, uh, Brady Black, basic Black yeah. business. Yeah. So then he's trying to find out why she went to New York. He talks to Abe who, Abe keeps his secret. Yeah, her secret. he's good. He doesn't blab, which is very, yeah. you know, like respectable. And that's Abe. Of course, you know, Abe wasn't going to like give up a confidence. Yeah. And so now Eric's like, well, I got to get to New York. And so just as he's trying to get a flight to New York, she pops in. So, so my question now the mystery, is, now the mystery he... is, is she going to tell? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Also, so my can question we all... is... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, um, just okay so I'm Eric and I've decided you know what I'm going to New York does he even know where she is like she know does he know where like where I in guess New York he knows where she's staying Who? I, I, I mean I don't think he's thinking that he just knows she's in New York so he's going to New York I didn't get the impression she knew exactly where he was he knew exactly where she was <laughs> me either I'm like okay <laughs> Haywood Wong says New York don't look like that. Well, Salem, New York does, Haywood. Yeah. <laughs> it's a park. I was like, okay, she's in Central Park. Good. That's yeah. it. <laughs> but, but 
which I was like, Central Park looks very much like um, Salem. Where Jason but where were they a couple, what was that? excuse me, where were they a couple months ago, Prague or where the convent was? That just looked like the Salem Cemetery. So, you know, they do what they can. Yeah. They, <laughs> Oh, someone mentioned this in the chat room and I wanted to reiterate this. Raymond Smith, who else wants Dr. Rayner as a regular? Like who thinks she would make a good- I like her. I love, I, like I really liked her. I, I think she would- I as a regular. I do too, but like, I mean- I'd rather have Valerie back. Well. Yeah. I mean, Rayner I'll- did, I didn't, Rayner was like, she's there. She was just, she was very engaging. She was, she, yeah. she, she was very strong in her scenes. And I thought, I just thought, you know, maybe she would be, she would fit in the show somehow. Yeah. I mean, she easily found because even though she was supposed to disappear off the face of the earth, they were still able to find her. <laughs> they knew where she was. She needs work on her. She was making banana bread. I know. <laughs> By the way, she never got that banana bread out of the oven. No. So that <laughs> that's some burnt banana bread. Um, so luckily, like, she just decided to go ahead and come clean and mm -hmm. told Nicole everything. Um, and she was just like, you know, put it out there, like, I'm ready for whatever the consequences are. Um, I think she probably just, in good conscience, just needed to get that off her chest. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, we're gonna see how that unfolds. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for that storyline, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's uh, truck right along here to the April Fool's Day episode, which had <laughs> all kinds of foolishness in there. <laughs> I love when they do these episodes because, like, again, it's just a break and it's it's something fun, and I think yeah. it just allows them to play a little bit. But like, what? <laughs> For, well, I'm sure James Lott Jr. got a kick out of Leo <laughs> walking in and being like, "I'm back, bitches." <laughs> <laughs> But what was funny about Daniel's return was like the minute he opened his mouth and said, hey, babe, I thought, okay, this isn't Daniel. Daniel, like there was nothing Daniel-like about him. Mm -hmm. So I loved Sean's take on the fact that this was see, not real. See, well, I kind of disagree. Like, I, I, really? I don't know if I Daniel properly, but I thought it was, I was like, oh, Daniel's back. Yeah, I <laughs> I was too. It wasn't until like, okay, so after Daniel showed up and then proposed and then Nicole's just like, bye, Eric. And then <laughs> Eric was like, wait a minute, you're already married. That he then turned into someone else. I was like, oh, like this is a complete imposter in itself. And then they indicated, they were like, you married her? And I was like, okay, then who's her? And they never said who her was until right. until when we realized that he married Sheila in Australia apparently and they had a baby sanity which that baby was gorgeous by the way that was a cute little baby oh my cute. god I would have so been cute. like I was on Will's side I was like yeah I, I would want to keep that baby too look how cute she is <laughs> of course scheming Leo was like you guys wanted a baby well you know here's one you can buy and it's like <laughs> My favorite though was apparently that Leo got all wrapped up in this because he convinced Sheila and her girls to go to Dry Queen Bingo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, so that was a brilliant moment. Yeah, uh, that was that was great. And then uh, the killing of Clive after he escaped and mm -hmm. went to Ben and Pierre. Um, that was interesting because I was like, Lord knows y'all don't need any more trouble. And well, then. Uh -huh. I was just gonna say, I loved how every scene opened up with somebody at the door. So Clyde yeah. shows up at the door. Sheila shows up at, you know, their apartment. Yeah. Um, Leo shows up. It was like everybody, Daniel, everybody shows up at the door. It was hysterical. Mm -hmm. And originally Sheila lied and said that Eli was the daddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the, the look that Lonnie gave him was like, <laughs> excuse me? I love that. And then uh what else happened? Was that it? Leo and and uh Sonny found Leo and Will. My god, uh, Sonny's reaction was hysterical. 
And, and then at the end of that, you knew it was coming. Can I just say one thing? What do you have to say? April Fool's. Oh I'm my like, God. Breaking the fourth wall. And I think Greg made a comment on Twitter or Insta about that. He said that he, he used to be a big fan of Moonlighting. Yeah, and where they used to do that all the time. They used to do that all the time. Yeah. So like, thank you for making my, my Moonlighting dream happen. <laughs> Something to that effect, yeah. <laughs> It was a it was a fun episode. I think I think most people got a kick out of it. Although, on one of the blogs, I saw someone ask, "Was this a real episode?" And I was like, <laughs> "No." I mean, if you're if you're a fan of Days, you know that like the thing was like, like if you if you're on social media do, regularly you know. and if you're on social media regularly and you're on on Twitter, like you knew it was a special April Fool's episode, like going into it. But if you're not big on social media and you're not, you may not have known until, and if you missed the very end where it said April Fool's, you might've actually been fooled. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I saw on Twitter, Greg's brief comment about breaking the fourth wall, but I didn't know anything about the April. I didn't think about it being part of the April Fool or I didn't even know there was an April Fool's episode. Yeah. Um, but again, Daniel, like the more that went on, it's like, okay, what day is it? Wednesday, it's an April Fool's episode. Got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. Which every, people, you know, and it's, it's, they did it and it, it's, it's great that it, it went off, but people were being like kind of touchy. Like I was seeing a lot of posts, like don't even think about April fooling me this year. Cause, mm -hmm. but this was a good, a nice little entertaining April Fool's. And you know how I really knew it was an April Fool's episode? When Ben and Sierra are kissing and Clyde's dead on the floor. <laughs> I was like, this is gross. They would never be doing this. Right? They're not that freaky. Oh, God. Oh, I really liked how it was Sierra that was in trouble and not Ben. So... <laughs> Actually, in a way, that would be an interesting story plot down the road if Sierra ever did something and Ben's the one that has to help her get out of that situation. So yeah. I kind of like when they play that during April Fool's. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that was that episode. Uh, let's blaze through our business and then tidbits and our segments because in about 14 minutes, we'll have our first surprise quarantine check-in popping in. So <laughs> quickly tell us the business of AfterBuzz TV. Well, we just wanted to thank you all out there for making us the ESPN of TV talk for us. But for us to continue to grow, we need your help. No matter where you're listening, whether it's on, whether you're watching us on YouTube, you're listening on Apple Podcasts or anywhere else our podcast is available, uh, hit the thumbs up or like button and subscribe and leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Five stars, four stars, however many stars you want to give us. Uh, <laughs> but no matter where you are, Leave a comment so you can get involved in the conversation because being a part of AfterBuzz TV means so much to us. And don't forget to tell your friends, share the links, get more people in the chat rooms, and uh, keep enjoying our shows. Yes, well, please. Brought to you by the kind folks here at AfterBuzz TV. Now it's Thank time for a bit. Uh, so Ben and Sierra, I mean, basically they spent all day making ham sandwiches and having sex. So I'm telling you, they have a lot Respect. to make up for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Time. I yep. mean, that's it. they were just having a good old time, talking about working with each other or finding jobs. Or, you know, <clears> enjoying the last night in that nice hotel room. Yeah. But it kind of bummed me out when she said she wouldn't go back to the corporate world. I was like, mm. But, you know, really maybe that's, that. maybe, yeah. you know, maybe she will. Maybe she'll have a change of heart. Maybe yeah, it just won't so. be for Victor and uh, Xander. Yeah. Again, maybe Ch Chelsea mentioned maybe Kate. Maybe she and Kate will join forces somehow uh, yeah who knows he's so yeah. good together them too yeah she definitely mentioned that she didn't want to work for xander again Blech. so she's over that <laughs> um moving on to eli lonnie gabby and abe um eli this was kind of brief but yeah. yeah yeah eli um lonnie ran into gabby um in which gabby felt like i guess she had to make amends with and they weren't having it <laughs> no <laughs> which you know I wouldn't either if I were them. I mean, it's understandable. I think she needs to let time go by a little bit and then mm -hmm. maybe have a conversation and then, you know, we can't be bosom buddies, but, you know, <laughs> you know, get past this, right? You can get and past the fact that, like, I, no. you know, lied and tried to 
take you, kill your grandma, your true yeah. Love. murder. Yeah, really? No. Yeah. And we, we did see that she still is like the, this whole thing is about Stefan. She's still grieving for Stefan. I like that moment. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they, 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 I, they, you know, it started off not with good intentions, but then, you know, typical started off with bad intentions. They ended up loving each other. Now she's grieving. And this, that was the, the throttle for basically all of her, her deeds. And now she's all alone, but, but she's missing that. She's miss, she's missing her lobster. <laughs> but, but it was a good lobster so i yeah I, that he was still around but she can't be going around stealing everybody else's band <laughs> no <laughs> she can try but won't get you far exactly um and we already touched on this a little bit kayla and justin um yeah. you guys are just waiting for the in inevitable i think it was a it was a great thing that they communicated with each other about like potentially what's going to happen and and where the future lies and I think they probably both know what's going to happen so I'm glad that they had that conversation um, to communicate with each other about you know what's in inevitable inevitably did I say that right sure inevitably yeah <laughs> so Rolf is taking out Marlena's chip is yeah. he taking yep. out Steve's too has that been confirmed that hasn't been established yet but okay. I assume that's coming but yeah he Mar at the end of Friday's episode John and not Teo, Tony, where we're sitting down and that's when John said Marlene is out of surgery. We're going to find out how it went, but that was the very end yeah. of the episode. Yeah. yeah. I wonder how they're going to convince Rolf to take the chip out of Steve though. Cause he's well, that's so good. Weird. And that's, and that's big. That's something we didn't mention that, that, or maybe we did. I, now I can't remember 20 minutes ago, um, <laughs> but, um, but they were talking about like, once they remove that chip, Stefano's gone. Gone. Yeah. Um, um, Tony and Kristen were, were discussing yeah. that. So yeah, so yeah I, it, it, may be, it may be a harder sell for Rolf to dismantle mm -hmm. Steven O. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. All right, well, that was your week of days and now it's time for our segment. And we're gonna start with mine, which is Tony's official Three Snaps Award. Oh, oh snap. snap, thank you. Um, all right, so oh, the Three snap. Snaps Award has to go to an episode that we all needed during this time. We all needed to laugh, we all needed to breathe, we all needed just a fun moment. So kudos to everything that we just mentioned that happened in the April Fool's Day episode. I lived for all of it, and especially that cute little baby. I was like, Will, I was like, I would definitely keep that baby if I could. But Did you want the suit? Huh? You want Leo's suit? No. Um, yeah, that but, was a little much. <laughs> but, um, it, was, it was just great to see Leo back on the canvas and Sheila. So love that episode. Thank you for giving it to us. That gets Tony's official three snaps award. Oh, snap. oh snap. And now it's time for... No, no, no. Designer days. There we go. And this just week it's going to miss... It's going to miss Ari Zucker. She is wearing a Rhea dress by Parker. It's a mini dress in what they call Arctic Spot. Lightweight jersey, which is gathered at the shoulders. You can find it on shopbob.com in size large and on sale for $109. You can also find it on Amazon in extra small, medium, large, and extra large. So if you're looking for a cute little Easter dress or something, you know, we're at home. Shop. Well, then for your Zoom meetings, something for your, for your virtual Zoom happy meetings. hours. Yeah, it's super cute. I might, I might actually get this one. I really like it. So we designer days. Next week, you better be wearing next it. Next week <laughs> is going to miss Ari Zucker. Yay! Designer days. Now it's time for caption that. I don't, I can't tell if the if the things are playing or not. So I, don't, I, can't I don't think they are. I don't hear them. Yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, this week's caption that photo is of Eric and Nicole's reaction when everybody's favorite Dr. Dan showed up at the door <laughs> and they're both looking at each other like WTF. And a lot of us were saying that when we were watching it. WTF. This week's caption, though, goes to Cheryl7782 on Instagram with Nicole saying, darn it, Eric, I thought you killed him. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. and that is this week's caption there and now it's time for like, 
Okay, our <laughs> moment of the week goes to John when he is tied up trying to get the love of his life back. Marlena, this is why they are the power couple of Salem. Let's give it to the real queen and king of Salem. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Marlena was able to snap back out of it too. So John and Marlena, you guys get my aww. And that was the ooh, yeah, why? It's like, oh. Um, and now, of course, we have our oh shiz moment of the week brought to you by Me World 2. I will tweet that out right after the show. Um, so make sure you guys continue to support that. Thank you, Me World, for all the work that you Thanks, do. Thanks, Me World. Thank you. Thank you, Me World. And now it's time for After Buzz News and Gossip. All right, just a quick couple of things before we get to our quarantine check-ins. Uh, we are happy to announce that our Edition Days Quintennial event has been rescheduled for the weekend of October 10th and 11th Yay! of this year with the entire original lineup officially reconfirmed. So that's Brock Kelly, Eric Martzoff, Kate Manzi, Billy Flynn, Scott Shillstone, Stacey Hayduke, Paul Telfer, and Jen Lilly. They've all reconfirmed for the new dates. Ticket sales will resume very soon um, in the next week or so. Uh, for more information, follow Spectrum Celeb on the Twitter or visit SpectrumCelebrityEvents.com. And of course, we will post any updates as they come in. Uh, lastly, if you're looking for something new to watch while you're staying safer at home, you can catch Brock <laughs> Kelly tonight <clears throat> Excuse me, in Black Hearted Killer on Lifetime. The movie follows a couple who donates their daughter's organs after her tragic death and the drama that ensues when the recipient of their daughter's heart starts to wreak havoc on their lives. Ooh. You can watch Black Hearted Killer tonight at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Why does that sound like, like somebody like trying to get revenge and like whatever has been in her heart, she was like, now I can do it through someone else. Yeah, it's Very. Lifetime. Yeah, yeah that's, it sounds Lifetime, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so before we get to our quarantine check-in, let's take a look at what's coming up next week on your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Is there volume? <laughs> I know here at uh, Michael Mattis. The volume's all the way up. I hear it on mine. You're not hearing it on yours? I don't know. Uh, Weird. Sorry. We should have tested this, I guess. I thought we... Still nothing? Still nothing. But you know what? We'll retweet it. It's fine. Well, yeah. We'll do it. We we'll just it know again. it's hitting the fan. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play, play it again because we have time. Um, and we'll just, uh, we'll just watch you it. You want to narrate it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll narrate. You, it. you come up with what they're saying. That'll be good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hang on. Let me reshare it. Okay, do it again. Share. Share whole. Oh, Xander's mad, y'all. Oh, but the truth, little baby Mickey, Nicole's about to tell it. Is she? I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> baby Mickey is in arms. What? Oh. What's that mommy and daddy? I'm a cool. I'm a Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eric Song Sander. Say again. Oh. Eric Did I summarize what's happening? Yeah. Like what's actually happening? Okay, so it looks like Nicole reveals to Eric. Eric reveal the, the baby switch. Eric reveals it. Sorry. Nicole reveals to Eric. Eric reveals to Sarah. And then Eric confronts Xander and Cole cocks him in the face. That's it. Did you say Cole cocks him in I the face? I say yeah, cold cock. zonked, but I like I like Michael's definition yeah. better. Really socks him in the face. There oh, you I'll go. Just, Suck it to me. Now. Uh, how do uh, I'm just I feel so worried about this whole like the truth hidden the fan thing. Well, because we like okay, we like Sarah and Xander. I like Sarah and Xander. I think they make a great couple. But me this too. is like this may be their their end if if. No, but out. I get his intentions. I think eventually she's going to see that she he did it because he loves her and wanted to protect her. Yeah. And That'll I, take a while though. <laughs> I know. I guess you know, monsters. I guess you know, we can't have everybody we want happy, happy all the time, but no. I'm gonna be no. sad. Me too. I know. 
And especially because in the hospital, she was like, you know, I'm getting ready to get married. And I feel like when anyone like just got proposed to last week and then the next week they're like about to get married, you know that something is about to go down. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know that like that wedding may or may not happen or something is about to happen at that wedding. So you might as well go and grab the popcorn and sit. <laughs> Are you glad the secret's coming out before they get married or would you have preferred they had they got married and then the secret comes out and it would have been I, even worse? I prefer that none of it ever even happened. So that way, <laughs> love, as long as we're wishing, might as well wish for, you know. Yeah, we wouldn't be at this point. Um, so that's just me and, mm -hmm. and what I think. Um, because we're one minute away and now for the next hour, we're just going to chat among ourselves and with you guys waiting for <laughs> the stars to come in. Who pops in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we decided that we wanted to do a quarantine check-in with some of your favorite Days of Our Lives stars because during these times, we just want to make sure that everyone is doing okay. So uh, we have a few people just popping into the show. We're going to talk to them <laughs> really quick um, just to check in on them, make sure they're doing okay, make sure their family's doing okay. Um, so that you guys know that they're doing okay and so that you can see their lovely faces currently and we'll see who pops in. There's gonna be a whole lot of popping in the next hour. <laughs> yeah. So and, is Days really gonna be the only soap that's gonna be airing fresh shows? It looks like, so. Uh, we oh, can, we have our first pop in. Is that, hello, Billy, Billy Flynn. Flynn. Hey, Mr. Billy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, it's good to see all. Uh, Hi, all Billy Flynn. As well. Hi, Michael. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Tammy. How how's everyone? I was in your live. Good. I was just being a lurker though the other day. Just lurking. Yeah. That was I had nothing to say. I, gotta... <laughs> that? I had nothing important to say. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's not true. I love your sweatshirt. It looks super cozy. Can you I do. Have... You look very cozy. Okay. Amazon essentials. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Mr. Flynn, how are you doing? How are you holding up? I'm. I am doing really well. Um, I think. Um, I think my wife, uh, Gina, obviously you you know her, uh, wasn't feeling well uh, the first like two weeks. So, mm. um, but but she's back to 100 percent now. And other okay. than uh, dealing with um, you know her current uh, nail situation, I think she's seriously. Nail polish oh like my god. Yeah. Especially if you have gel, yeah. She's if got you have, gel. which I had a gel, it's like, oh my god, I have to go to the like Rite Aid or CVS and get gel removal stuff, and then oh, it's horrible. I walk I, around like this. If I didn't care about my health and safety, I would show you her current situation right now. <laughs> <laughs> her, her nails are wrapped in tin foil. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly them. it. Yeah, that's what you have to do. So but yeah, doing well. well. How are you? Uh, how are you guys passing the time? Are, is there a lot of Netflix happening? Are you writing poems? Like, <laughs> I'm writing a lot of poems. Are they about me? About Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'm touched. Uh, uh, no poems. We've been doing a lot of uh, playing a lot of Uno. A lot of. I love um, it. A lot of. Uh, what else we've we been playing? Are you a TikTok uh, person? I will never be a TikTok person. <laughs> Do I look like a TikTok person? I have I mean, a hard enough know, time maintaining Instagram and, and Twitter. Twitter gets me in trouble. Instagram, I I always, my wife talks shit because I don't know how to filter photos. <laughs> um, oh, it's yeah. dire circumstances, you know, you never yeah. know what people will um, do. But, well, but what are we doing? I don't know. We're doing, I'm doing a lot of, like I, I'm working out a lot just outside. Um, I do a class like where we um, read plays and stuff every Sunday, and um, I try to connect. I I'm going to be doing more of the uh, the live things and just chatting with fans, uh, uh, hopefully a couple times a week. Because people were so excited, it was great to see like yeah people. You know, you're doing something to like brighten people's day, and you know, it was really it was really great. It was very yeah. uplifting. And, ha and happy belated congratulations on your play. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah we, are we gonna see? We, we wrapped just before the uh, this whole thing went down. I think we wrapped at the end of February. I mean, it was so interesting. 
because there's a woman, one of the girls in my play, uh, Claire Blackwelder, um, it, her sister was in China. And I remember like in January uh, talking about this Corona thing that was in China and, and she was like so stressed out about getting her sister out of there. And I just yeah. remember thinking like, wow, so it's so far away. Yeah. Um, yeah, just get her home and we're fine. You know, and you'll be all right. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, and you know, now fast forward, but that play was a really beautiful experience. I don't, you know, I don't, um, Tony, you came. Yeah. I do. I, yeah. Had, the, I had the pleasure of, seeing Billy live and in person. And I, I thought you did a fantastic job. I giggled because I felt like that's what was happening on days. So it was kind of funny to see it. Yeah. Like, perform. Yeah. Um, but I was, was, and I was playing a woman on days. No, well, no, <laughs> no, but I missed the, that episode. In the play, <laughs> you played a woman. And I must say you played a woman very well. Thank, I was, I just watched all of our old uh, Beyonce videos and I just. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I actually just watched that video of one of the uh, events that we were at and I was asked to do single ladies. And I guess you thought you were going to challenge me in doing it. Yeah, I think I, I think I was drinking back then. I was. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, smarter like, than like quit drinking. <laughs> but, but, yeah, just a little bit. And I, but I applauded you because you really you really looked like you were gonna go for it. You weren't sure what you were gonna go for, but you were going for it. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that, that was pretty much how I spent most of my days. Just kind of, am I gonna go for it? Or am I not gonna go for it? <laughs> um, how, so I'm, I'll, I'll, how are you guys? I'm the first one here today. Chelsea, you're quiet. You're the, you're the first one. I'm trying, how are you doing? <laughs> doing well, how are you? Doing really good. Uh, how about oh, you tonight for staying safe? Oh yeah, yeah. You're okay. You just stay being quiet then, because you wreck, you're wrecking the whole thing. Oh <laughs> no, yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, it's <laughs> it's back, real quick. I'm not gonna forget, but just get it done. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow birthday. Oh, oh my gosh. Everybody, I, how whoever is is on here, wish her a happy birthday on uh, at Gina Camparato. We'll do Absolutely. <laughs> We can have a Zoom party for her. Yes, um, we're gonna do, I got some, we got some stuff uh, planned uh, for the house. I raided pavilions, whatever they had, so I just. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to bake a cake. So gonna... <laughs> okay. What's I, I was just gonna say, you found toilet paper and you're gonna wrap it up and give it to her. Not toilet paper. I found no toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a delicacy i still don't know why but i have apparently you have to go like if you go to scott's uh uh shillstone posted he got toilet paper at weho target at 7 a.m yesterday morning oh yeah so you, maybe gotta go. you, just, you just gotta be there first thing yeah cambridge yeah. farms what's where we found some Cam uh, oh i used to live by cambridge never, yeah i never have ever entered it was Stater Brothers had some in Cambridge Farms. All right. I found some at Target, although I did see a woman almost, I don't want to say almost, but she almost got told off for buying too much toilet paper. Mm -hmm. So I quietly just took my one pack and like exit stage left. What was that? Was that, was, were you the one quietly yelling at her? No. <laughs> No, no. I was just trying to escape as quickly as possible because everything was about to get cray cray. He was trying yeah. to get the Charmin and bounce. He wasn't trying to start shit. I, 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 I see what you did there, Michael Mattis. That was very uh, clever. Yeah. Oh, funny oh, enough, I didn't, funny you enough did. my, my mom, my mom Amazoned me uh, like uh, whatever they're like a box of the toilet paper. So we got nice. like a present one day. Aww. He was like on there every 20 minutes, apparently looking for. <laughs> oh. um so how's this work so so who so and people are tuning in to watch the, yeah like, we're, we're streaming live now like we like we always do um mm -hmm. at after buzz um except oh, for you to like still do the show which is good because fans are like it gives them yeah. something to do still yeah so. who's we're, on the lineup uh well i can't i can't say who's on the line trying to surprise <laughs> people applies <laughs> Just tell me. I'll text <laughs> it to you. Like, I don't care. 
I mean, the surprise is over. I'm, well, I'm, no, I'm here. I tell you, then no, because no, you're alive. <laughs> Do we have any questions in the chat it's, room? The secret. I've been looking. I just see people saying hi, and people are saying happy early uh -oh, birthday to Gina. Like, uh, all of a sudden, we all froze, and I was like, what? Um, oh, but uh, before you go, Billy, uh, we're happy that you're joining us uh, for our event in October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super excited. Thank you. Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was looking for the but you know, uh, I had to be you, right? Totally Everybody awesome. keeps freezing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, say that again. Here, money tree. I said I'm bummed out that um that uh, it got postponed, but it had to be done. I'm excited to see everybody in yeah. October. Yeah. I mean, October's I gonna be a busy month. Everything that was supposed to happen right now is being rescheduled for March. So while everyone's having like their downtime now, <laughs> come September, October, like every weekend's gonna be something. So yeah. Yeah. although, like, it's gonna be it'll be interesting to see what happens. Like. It's not just going to be people aren't just going to like my first instinct was like people are going to go run out and just start getting weird hitting tinder in the bars and everybody <laughs> trying to be humping and stuff but but now i feel like it's going to be like there's going to be a whole group of you know that are just going to be kind of agoraphobic and it's going to be yeah it's not really going to get back to the same right it's going to be a gradual progression like i yeah. think people are to your point people are going to get used to kind of um being at home with themselves and then slowly Cause you know, they, now they're saying like, there may be another resurgence of this thing in the fall. So, you know, we, I guess we yeah. just kind of have to hang tight and see what, see what happens. That's all we can do, but yeah. 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 I would hope that we get back to some corn, some kind of normalcy by October. A little it's bit. interesting. It's really bold that you all are sitting in your bedrooms. That could be, that's a, that's a risky move. <laughs> <So weird. laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not in my bedroom. How do you know? I feel like I can show people that. You know what? I said I'm in my living room, not bedroom, because I feel like I can't show people in my bedroom. Oh, look who's making an appearance. Norma. <laughs> oh, hi, kitty. Norma. Hi, baby. Yeah. Little Norma. Oh, <laughs> sweet thing. Oh. Uh, well, Billy, thanks for popping in and in with us. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're doing well. Yeah. And, and your family. Yeah. It's great to see your face. I feel like you're always lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being, I'm being honest and truthful. No, I mean, no. <laughs> this is a, this is a real moment. Why do you always wear that hat? Is it so that it makes it look like you have a halo around your head? <laughs> uh, I will have you know I have a halo whether I have a hat on or not. Who told I'm you that? Your mom? <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. I love it. <laughs> Shady Sunday. Shady Sunday. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you look beautiful thank you billy flynn mark yeah. j freeman is going to be super jealous that you just said that to me it's all right he'll get over it <laughs> all right well thanks billy. Right, thanks billy. Yeah. Love and take care of yourself yes all uh, right thanks guys thank you uh, oh i'm glad you <laughs> that was awesome yeah and i'm glad that he's i want that sweatshirt what he said it is on Amazon, right? Yeah, but he didn't give the the name. Oh, I think he said it was an Amazon Essentials because you know they have their own, like Amazon. Their own line. Their own yeah. line, yeah. Really? I didn't know. Oh. That. Yeah, if you look like no. if you're searching for something, um, sometimes I did this with like a camera, something for my camera, oh, a, a filter for my lens, and they mm -hmm. had Amazon Essentials, and it was the same thing, but more reasonably priced. And works just as good. So maybe so they have the clothing too. It's four thirteen, and Finley is staring at me right now because it's dinner time. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just telling you that from now until the show ends, he's going to be staring at me. <laughs> we have um, we have what's called a doggy casino for Bimbi, and I can hear what? Mark in the other room and Bimbi playing playing casino. What do you? What is that? It's you. They, there's these little drawers. Sorry, everybody. We're going to have a guest soon. Bear with us. But it's this little casino and you put treats in the little drawers and Bimbi has to go sniff and paw at. Oh, my God. Has the treat. 
and so that is the cutest thing ever it didn't take very long to train him to like sniff it out and it's really cute it's really fun that's because he's the smartest he's boy, boy in the world i think he's sick of us though <laughs> This is now going to be week four of us being at home. And I think he's, he's like, guys, you need to leave me alone. <laughs> no, Finley's, Finley's just the opposite. He's like, we can't go back to work full time at this point because he'll have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Finley. So Tammy and I were planning on, we've been trying to plan a day where we can do a brunch with our dogs. Oh my and God. With my work schedule and her basically it was my work schedule I have to work all week so it never worked out and so I was planning to take a day off because I have PTO accrued and I was like Tammy we can finally do our our brunch and then corona it happened was scheduled and, yep. yeah and then I was like well we can still do brunch and then it's like nope all the restaurants are closed nope no nope, it's like no oh well we can so. go for a hike nope, yeah no the for, parks are closed we can walk up I mean we can still <laughs> walk up and down my street I guess but that's true. I live on a hill. We can kind of hike, but. <laughs> you do a virtual one. Do it through Zoom. Like have your dog. And have I know. Your girl. Just for Too right much. now. <laughs> Thanks for the idea, though. I tried yeah, to like... do ideas. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Guys. What? I think we have someone coming What's in. What's going <gasps> on? Who's that? Well, hello, what? Mr. Eric Martzal. Hello, Mr. Martzal. Hey. Oh, I love the color wall that is beautiful you like the color of my wall yes oh, it is a nice is pretty a i just looked at it. i've never really seen it until just now it's like the teal <laughs> blue it's really pretty yeah, teal, yeah. it's like a, it's like a sea foam yeah sea foam i learned i'm a gonna new, do that thanks to my thanks to work i learned a new color for blue called cerulean Ooh. is that it's a like real a thing cerulean. it is a thing <laughs> so sign so, up for carbon 38's emails we'll see it Interesting. Devil Wears Prada, where she mentioned cerulean. Oh, Devil Wears Prada. Okay. Think I, all right. No, I remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> and Hathaway, Meryl Streep. Yes. Yes. I remember that line. Oh, yeah. I like that you you're, rep you're oh. representing passions. Oh. We have someone else. <laughs> oh, who's that? <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Where Stacey. is she? <laughs> currently. Where is she? <laughs> But she's here. <laughs> there she is. Oh, As I hear her laughing. Sideways. <laughs> I'm already doing got... this. So do Wait, I have to go like this? Oh, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah, upside down. I don't well, see her. Of course, I'm the only one who doesn't know how to of use Of course you are. This world, right? <laughs> well, look at that. We look have at you guys. Hi, Stage. Look at us in our glasses. Oh my, I know, I'm getting, I saw you on the other day and you're like, can't, I can, I mean, I take these off and you're a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're getting fuzzier too. I think that's what happened to me during quarantine. I didn't get Corona or anything, but I lost my freaking vision. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> happen. <laughs> it just, it just happened. Like I had too much Captain Crunch cereal or something and my vision just went. Oh my God. You need the Captain lucky charms. Crunch. The lucky charms. <laughs> Much better. No, no, Captain Crunch. No, with Captain Crunch, Crunch. That's the way I'm to go. There. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. How are how are you two doing? How's everything on on your end with this whole quarantine? Great. Go ahead, Stace. How you doing, girl? How are um, you? I'm good. I mean, I'm good. I'm doing a lot of yoga. I'm doing a ton of yoga. Kind of. I I've exercised more in these last two weeks than I have in the last year. So yeah. Every That's time you great. post something, it's of you doing something active. You're dancing, you're doing yoga. Yeah. It, it, I, it makes me, I'm sitting on my couch watching Lifetime, like, <laughs> really killing it. And yeah. Stacey, your, ne your next video should be just you on a couch, like smoking a doobie. <laughs> <laughs> of course, drinking my pee now and, uh, you know. I, yeah, I've tried so many new wines, which has been very exciting. Um, <laughs> Every night I open a new bottle. So yeah, I mean, I'm doing all right. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to start a show where I'm just going to record myself for five hours sitting on my couch doing nothing. It's just five hours. <laughs> I'm just sitting there with Cool Ranch Doritos and just looking out the window. Oh my God, that sounds I'm so now Watch that. Someone will pay attention to that. See? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right. Uh, did yoga a few weeks ago. We did. I saw that. 
I yeah. said it was hilarious. It was great. It did well, Tony. Hilarious. <laughs> it was a joy. I so enjoyed it. And we're gonna do the headstand soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, you know she does yoga in my dressing room on my floor while we run lines. <laughs> I totally one hundred percent believe that. But it's she, she very true. To, she's trying to <laughs> go ahead. The headstand now, and I'm just like, I don't know if all over my head like that's a lot of, of <laughs> this weight just over yeah but you that. know all that that's blood just kind of rushes in and oh it God. just yeah. kind of fills fills you up <laughs> i don't know if you i'm doing a different kind of fill me up yeah myself Here up. I up. <laughs> cool rinse with this ice water oh who put vodka in my ice water <laughs> <laughs> damn kids Kids just being silly. They need to bring the olives a little more teeny. There Cheers. Oh, like yeah. Ina Garden. Oh. Did everybody Soda. see Ina Garden in her Cosmo? No. No. What she did? Oh. Recipe. She made. She had a recipe. She posted it at like nine thirty in the morning on on Wednesday, and her her the point of the video was during a crisis, any time is cocktail hour. And she <laughs> made this giant Cosmo, and she had this giant martini glass. And it went completely viral, but the Cosmo looked so delicious. It was oh, vodka, yeah. lime oh. juice, cranberry juice, and that. yeah, basically just shaken up. It looked very You're refreshing. You're making me thirsty, right? I think the I good thing but about this quarantine. She used a whole bottle of vodka, I think. Well, she said gonna... it was two cups, but yeah, it looked <laughs> two a little... Cups, cups of vodka. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to have a buttload of alcoholics after this quarantine. So. <laughs> I, yeah. I thought... That's People exactly that would have never been prone before are like suddenly just falling off over and oh, work. Okay, but then I just went to Bevmo to get some some booze for the family here, okay. and um, <laughs> Bevmo said to me that they may be it may not be a necessity alcohol. Oh. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you can still get it at Trader Joe's, right? They're That's the good thing about California. We're, we're not a state where you have to go to a specific, like, it's not like Ohio where you have to go to a liquor store. Right, it's not a drug. Right, drink. right. Yeah. You can go to Chuck E. Cheese here and get drunk. <laughs> yeah. True. yeah. We're a little lax on those rules. That's good to know. I didn't know that, Eric. That's good to know. I have twin boys. I've been, I've been doing it for a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, can we go to Chuck E. Cheese? Sure we can. <laughs> Well, now you well, do <laughs> What's that, Tony? I said, I think I'm the only one that will go for the pizza. They have really good pizza. No, I'd go for the pizza, too. Oh, they yeah. They have really good pizza. Birthday parties, there's always the pizza. Yeah, you eat the pizza. Then you get in the sea of balls, have a couple drinks, get back in the sea of balls. Well, that's another. I'm that's setting another, it up for you. That's, that's another party. <laughs> I'm setting it up for you. Knock it down. Another <laughs> party. <laughs> they have games, though. Those are fun. Yeah, I like the games. Sorry, sees a ball. I like the games too. <laughs> See, Chelsea and I would be playing the games, like pegging the little worms that. Oh, the whack a mole. <laughs> See, well, don't ever do that in the sea of balls. No. <laughs> no whack a mole in the sea of balls. You'll hurt yeah. somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not good. I knew it was going to go down this route, Stacy. I knew it was going to just no stop. I'm going to go down in the pit of balls. Yes, I know, but it's, or it's up just, dive. However you look at uh, it. Oh, up, uh, up is good. <laughs> oh, man. See? <laughs> Apologize well, to everybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of Briston, I sincerely Briston. apologize. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> How are you doing, Tammy? How's everybody I, you doing? You know, everyone's swell. Yeah. Everyone is swell. swell. I'm actually... I fought social media for so long and I'm actually really grateful for it right now. Because it's entertaining and it's fun yeah, and you yeah. can pretty share. necessary right now. Yeah. It's kept, so. it's kept a little, you know, little notch on everybody. And uh, yeah, you're right. This is the time to have it. My yeah, God. absolutely. Absolutely. Everyone in the family, everyone's doing well, family wise. We're all good. I think my daughter's yeah. a little bit nuts. <laughs> I don't How think anybody in my house has the thing, but you know, I, I mean, I, I did something weird yesterday. I, I sneeze and I, I always hold my sneezes in. It's a bad habit. Me too. It's like hold them in. And I always have as a kid and I held yeah. it in and I hurt like a rib. Yeah. Oh, you know, no. like, you can't hold them. You gotta like do this. You gotta let it out, right? Yeah. I know, but I, I never wanted to let it out. I'm, I, always, I think I'm with, the same way. 
Did you know the wind speed of a sneeze is the same inside a tornado? Did you know that? Whoa. Eric. Did not know. That's some true <laughs> shit right there. That doesn't sound true. Is that something That's you learned true. during this quarantine right time, there. sweetie? Well, think about how else could I have bruised a rib? I literally bruised my rib. I was walking around last night. Just Ouch. Like, I took a well, muscle relaxer. I was like, you can do <laughs> that happens you if you hold a sneeze. Yeah. Sneeze. Sneeze. Really? sneeze with gusto. You got to just do it. But that's but kind of gross. It's so gross. <laughs> well, you. not if you do a shoot. You know, if you put your hands well, no, you gotta on do, You got to do it like you this. The Dracula. You got to do Dracula. Dracula. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. The Dracula. Okay. Yeah. This is the snippy pitter. So you smell good. Just snippy your, pit. Put your glass over there. <laughs> you know? What are you drinking, State? Was that white wine? This is called the rosé. All day. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard of it. And I've got it in my my stout glass. <laughs> I love that glass. Yeah, no, you're glass out of a too. stout. That's a stout glass. I know this. I worked in a brewery. You know that. You did? You've done so many things. I had no well, idea. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the story as short as I can. Basically, you know BJ's on Canoga Park? Yes. In Woodland Hills? Yes. Um, I applied to work there when there was nothing there. It was just a trailer. And I fabricated a resume saying I had bartended in all these places in Michigan. And so the guy couldn't look it up whether it was real or not. And he hired me as not only the head bartender and I had never bartended before. Oh, he also oh hired God. me as the brewmaster. <laughs> now that meant that I had to test all of the microbrews before my shift to make sure that they all were Oh, that okay. sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sitting here looking at this guy who makes beer for a living. I'm like, yeah, go hobby yeah. tonight, Steve. What happened? <laughs> That was my first real acting gig, actually. Well, yeah, that is usually. <laughs> Lying and getting a job. <laughs> I, was, I was 18 when I got my first bartending job in New York at the Palladium. And oh, I got wow. to work at the private place. He asked me, I lied and said I was 21, but it was my birthday that night. And he was giving me the cash at the end of the day for the tips. And he's like, well, happy birthday. How old are you? And I'm thinking, well, I'm 19. And he goes, Stacy, I thought you were 21. And I'm like, okay, let's take all that back. And so I lost my track. one night. Stop rewind nice play. <laughs> Stacy, you had one job, and that was to keep up a lie. One oh job. Yeah. One. One. She you couldn't do it. do it. This is a this is a good one. I bartended the soap opera digest awards one year. Wow. And then and oh, the following boy. year, I was nominated for one. Oh, cool. right. That's a good story. The that first is. year I, I joined Passions. Yeah, I was bartending, went to Passions, and yeah. Remember the Soap Opera Digest Awards? Does anybody yeah. remember those? No. Yeah. It's the ceremony and the, it was a whole thing. It was a big thing. Yeah. I wish they would do that again, Soap Digest. <laughs> Pump some energy into this genre, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, especially this year, because the daytime Emmys got canceled. I know. Well, you know, we I haven't know. talked to, you so know, bad. Tony, Tammy, Chelsea, what we haven't talked about, and even more important than probably the Soap Opera Digest Awards, we do our Dish and Days Awards. Yeah. Here. See, there we could do that. May, you might be taking over, man. Are you ready I for mean, this job? Right. We're making our, making our best effort, but yeah. but yeah, that should be coming up soon. Yeah. yeah, but if it's up, I, it's going to probably be rigged, though. Won't, won't your girls there just vote for <laughs> sin for every single, I mean, category? Let me I mean, it's that. almost as if, <laughs> I don't Chelsea's know if I, try, I trust say, the wait. judging. <laughs> well, luck, luckily, it's the fans. The fans. Um, oh, the fans. Vote. We do okay. let the fans vote, yeah. They, they actually. <laughs> I'm just saying there's been a lot of bad voting around the country. You know, lots of issues and meddling, apparently. And, <laughs> Really? No, I mean, Florida I keep, We don't it allow up, that with the we're we're secure. We we handle our elections or our awards very carefully. Very carefully. You sleep with all the right people. <laughs> oh my god, Eric. Wow. <laughs> <For the ball. laughs> Can't we have a little fun during quarantine? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I don't know how you guys are. You don't have anywhere to go. Is it going to the grocery store the most exciting thing in the world? Yes, I went yes, and watched it. Yeah. It's the one the chore store. I hate it was most. So I was it like, was this is so much fun. fun. It's great though. But everyone's everyone's oh, looking at each other in judgment. Like everyone's kind of. My mother in law got accosted at an Albertsons because she sneezed. She has oh. allergies, and this woman said, 
I don't think you should be in line with us right now. <gasps> and, and, and Terry, her name's Terry, she looked back, she's like, excuse me, I have allergies, I'm not contagious. And the lady yeah. was like, yeah, but you still could be threatening all, I mean, she made this huge scene and she ended up oh my gosh. telling her to something. But well, yeah, you know that. panic because everyone yeah. thinks you have it. So don't sneeze or cough or anything. Hold Has anybody been in? Has anybody been sick? <laughs> That's when you hold your sneeze in, Eric. You hold it in right there. But if you, yes. if you hold it in, you're gonna hurt a rib. Uh, right. So <laughs> it's. It, I should. Pro I'll let it out next time. I don't want to bruise my pancreas for God's sake. Increase. <laughs> uh, Michael, I have. Oh, go ahead, Tammy. <laughs> no, no, no. I, the the idea of a bruised pancreas. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Michael, your room, the lit lighting, very kind of noirish kind of feeling. It's very beautiful. Yes. I'm sitting yeah, right I'm next to a window. That. I'm sitting right next to a window, which is my only light source, and well, it's kind it's of like kind of moody. It was really quite beautiful because yes. everything's oh, very that noir. You know, right. face well, on light. Was, Michael, when it was darker. I almost thought you were in like some kind of hospital with an unmade bed. I thought that futon was like an unmade mattress. <laughs> and you had another white one in the back. I thought you were like in the emergency room or something. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, broadcasting well, from Dim my, the lights again, Wait, dim the lights and I'll show from you. I, didn't, I don't think I dimmed the light. I didn't do anything. It must've just been like, it was dark. Open my shades. Oh. Was dark. I don't know, I, uh, like, okay, so full disclosure. I appreciate all of the compliments, Stacy. None of it was intentional, but I appreciate it regardless. Well, because I was looking at everybody's, you know, pictures when they pop up and everybody has that face on because we all want the light to come in. Yeah. <laughs> but yours was just so moody and gorgeous. And it was kind of like, I felt like I was in a movie, you know, it was kind of nice. Yeah, it's very Casablanca. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for the, you know, piano music to come playing right now. I'll, I'll have a piano player next week. Just oh, next week. I love that. <laughs> I'll teach How Bimby. long do you think this is going to be? To the end, of, I think wow. to the end of April. I think maybe, I hope we will we'll be back to work by like, maybe early mid-May. Hopefully, well, yeah. The, the great thing about, about the show is that you guys have episodes that'll take us well into the end of the year. Yeah. So good. I like August, the other soaps. Yeah. yeah. So what The Young and the Restless is now doing on Fridays, they're showing classic episodes. I saw classic that. Episodes. So I'm, maybe I, maybe yeah, one of your episodes. Maybe GH is going to run out. Maybe, We're not going to oh, run out though. We we still got like what seven seven months in the can. Yeah. 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 Well, hey guys, just to let y'all know, we have someone else that's about to join us. So. So you're going to kick us out? No, you don't. You, look, you're. <laughs> you're not you can stay. You got so much to do, do don't you, yeah. Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> so many downward dog minutes to go. Yeah, you're good. You guys, you guys we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna add uh, another person to the party. Who do we got? Do we like them? <laughs> I I mean she. I don't know. She's very likable and very gorgeous and pretty and oh, she's pretty. We love her. Ooh. Wait for this one. It's James Lott Jr. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty man. <laughs> Who is well, it? Is I know we're <laughs> all this okay. build up. Hold on. Should we do the witchy thing going with our nose? Do, 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 do. <laughs> I've been watching reruns of oh, that show. Stay. So yeah. Yeah. Today. I loved being witch. Oh, oh. oh. Um, hi, Sal. Sal! Oh, there we are. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Oh, 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 where is she? I gotta find Wait, her. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah. I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Okay, hi! Hi, hi. <laughs> hi Sal. Hi. hi. What's the day party? How are you? <laughs> We're good. How are you? How are you? Is that to me? Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. a new girl. <laughs> hi, All right, guys. I'm a little cray cray right now. Um, how do I <laughs> see everybody? Hold on. Uh, yeah, I only can color. see. Okay. Is there a way to do that? If you're huh? if you if you're on if you're on your computer and hit speaker view, you can see everyone. But if you're on your Got phone, you. you have to swipe. Speaker view. Boom. Yeah, I can only see Boom. four at a time on the iPhone. How do you do that? I only see one at a time on the iPhone. Uh, well, there's a function where if who's ever talking, it goes to automatically. Yeah. 
Yeah. So everybody talk at once and maybe we'll all go on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, That's a great hard, idea. Right? Sal, That's how are you? That's a great idea, Rosa. I'm, I'm good. Um, sorry, I'm lotioning because I am washing my hands like crazy. And I like, know. Like, root, like oh. my hands are like all just falling apart. I know, apart. it's bad. Um, but I'm all right. I think I had some really hard days um, over the, you know, the past three weeks we've, you know, been on lockdown. Yeah. But I'm okay. I'm okay. It's been quite interesting though, this whole thing experience mm -hmm. and you know um just so much uncertainty yeah. yeah but i think you know i'm trying to find the good in all of it like every day i'm like okay like the moment i start to feel myself um get sad or get down i'm like how is this like what is good what good is coming out of this like how is this good for me like how can i better myself during mm -hmm. this process um yeah. just trying to find ways to keep my my brain okay yeah it's such a positive girl have you have you guys heard about the positive speaking of positivity the positive effects that this thing has had on the environment alone yes our ecosystems are doing so much better there there are dolphins in the canals in venice yeah what yeah that doesn't happen because the water is never it's clean. never clear it's clean it's, never clear it's now clean because the boats and all the the pollution from yeah. you know every you know, these were things life. that were happening within like two weeks of the, yeah. you know, yeah. and, they also, the and the animals are coming back from China, like the animals are coming back, the deer, everything. I mean, the I'm other species of... that are reemerging. It's nuts. Wow. And Wait, I'm not, amazing. I'm not like Leo DiCaprio or anything, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> I can't ignore what the heck is going on in just a few weeks. Yeah. Our planet yeah. is like, it's almost like a reset it's button. Yeah. For our planet. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yes. You wonder if that's. Yeah, you noticed our own sky right now. I mean, how beautiful the 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 sky is and how yeah. clear it is, and mm -hmm. I don't. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's pretty scary. What are you drinking, Rose? Me, Rose. All day. <laughs> you have having all day. Do you have it? I'm like green juice. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. Green juice. oh, Sal, come on, put some you vodka you, in it. You gotta keep your system up, okay? You gotta keep doing that, guys. Is that Sal, like some live Sal, bug you're putting in your gut right you now? Doing, Sal, what are you doing for workouts? Oh yeah, because she's been working out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything. So I, was, I was working out. I haven't been, this past week, to be honest, I wasn't working out because I felt like shit. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't working out, but I do have like my whole little get up over here. Um, and I kind of just try to do like 20 minutes of something. Yeah. Um, but I haven't been motivated to work out. It's and that's hard coming from me because I'm that person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of being me too. I go, I go ape shit. It. Yeah, I go yeah. crazy. Like you guys, you guys see how I work out. And now I'm like, okay, let's pull it together. Let's just just 20 jumping jacks. Give me 20 jumping yeah. jacks or something. Okay, so surprisingly, I have been working out. Like I have this whole routine. Like I still get up at like anywhere between seven and eight in the morning uh -huh. and I work out, I go for a walk and then I do my interviews on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do like other stuff <laughs> to like just keep myself. <laughs> but at the beginning of this, I was like, I have to keep myself on some sort of schedule and routine so that yeah. I- <clears throat> Yeah. Good for you for maintaining it. It's easy. Yeah. I, it's easy to sleep in right now. It, oh it God, is. yeah. It is. I've been, I'm not going to lie, like today I have laid on this couch. Oh, first of all, <laughs> we are talking about that. <laughs> let me be real, real with you guys. For the, first, real, real. for the first two weeks of this quarantine thing, I didn't have a couch. So I was on oh, my wow. floor, like oh. on my floor. Cause Why I, didn't you have a couch though? Huh? Why Get a new couch. Cause are you I, getting a new one? I got a new couch from, I had ordered a new couch and it was being made and they were like, oh, it's going to take three weeks to get delivered. And I'm like, okay. And then all of this happened and they were mm -hmm. like, oh, it got pushed back. And I'm like, wait, what? I can't be stuck in my apartment <laughs> oh, with no God. couch. God, yeah. yeah. this You were telling me this was like three or four months ago you were getting this couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a couch just right Good here. Good topic, but it looks very um, cozy. <laughs> today, like, I'm obsessed with Ozark, so I've just been laying on the couch watching Ozark and- Me too. I love it. I just I just finished, I think I finished it. It's weird because I was watching <laughs> last night. I think 
I finished it. Then I went to the next episode and there was no next episode, but I really thought there should be a next episode. <laughs> so, for, uh, so you finished season three. Yeah, where are you? I'm season two, episode seven. Oh, okay. I'm all the way. I finished the whole thing <laughs> last night. Okay. It's, it's so great. Good. It's great. It's, it's good a show, right? It's really good. But like, I also try to be like you, Tony. And like, I write out my, I got my planner because I'm a planner girl. Yeah. And I write everything down. Okay, I'm, a, I'm up by seven. I'm going to, I'm going to do my meditation. I'm going to pray. I'm going to read. I'm going to do what I got to do. And then by like nine o'clock, I'm like, yeah, right. Like, it's <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Like I, I literally went out like the entire day, like all the way until I was like, okay, my day is going to start. So from seven to nine, I planned it like seven to nine is like meditation, you know, me time, prayer time. And then 10 to five is work day, you know, yeah. I'm gonna work on my fitness stuff. I'm going to, you know, re whatever. Yeah. Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, I don't make it so I, I've actually been you know, really surprised with myself that I've been able to keep some sort of schedule because yeah, I, I think I would probably just sit and just go through my DVR or Netflix which I just finished next in fashion on Netflix so Ooh. Okay, I, I watched the Love is Blind, Tony. I did. Oh, yeah. I, saw it too. I saw that. I sat there and I binged watched the whole thing, I think two nights. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm on, I'm I'm on like, a new one. People are so screwed up. <laughs> did, you guys, did you guys hear that? What, what's the, like, the famous couple now? There's like that one famous couple. They're like huge. Cameron and Lauren? Yes, they just like signed with like CAA and like they're just, wow. oh my gosh. They're killing it. I'm like, yeah. well, like <laughs> Love is Blind, that's what's supposed to happen. They ended Forget up what's talented, what's popular. <laughs> well, I, I adore Who needs them. talent when you have popularity? <laughs> We're going downhill. <laughs> We're going downhill, guys. I haven't heard from Michael or Chelsea over here. What's going on? Oh, hey, I'm we're here. So quiet. I'm just, I'm enjoying the, I'm just enjoying listening to this conversation. Honestly, like uh, I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> Forgot I was here. It was so good. Well, in, <laughs> in about five, in about five more minutes, mm -hmm. is going to get even more lively. We have two more people coming. Do you need like people to leave so that? No, so no, 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 no. <laughs> No, you, can no, no, you guys. I think it's like the most social right. like I've been on. It's like this is amazing. <laughs> I know. She's having a lot of fun. <laughs> I feel like I'm at work or something. This is good. You almost are. Like half of us are on this damn call. <laughs> we should have had a script ready for you guys to perform. It really put you to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you can go. read some of the new script. <laughs> <I'm joking>. oh. <laughs> oh. That'd be good. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I had to put my scripts away because they were. I was getting so sad, so I had oh. to put them. Put your what? My my scripts. I just put them like in a oh. where a place where I couldn't see them. Oh. oh. You know, I still hope that one day I start receiving scripts. <laughs> Keep hoping, Tony. Start, I'm going to start sending them. <laughs> we're all gunning for you, Tony. You it's going to happen. Just hang in there another twenty or thirty years. You're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have. Well, I have written myself into this show so many times and in so I know many you have. Yeah, well, Eric, <laughs> we all know. <laughs> no, Eric, they're good. They're, they're good concepts. Have you given them to Ron? Have you passed them on to Ron? You um, did at the Daytime Emmys. I did. Okay. Yeah. So when yeah. we were at the Daytime Emmys, I, you know, I was professional. I was asking Ron, like, the professional questions and things like that. And then I got to, well, how are new characters created? And then I said, well, I have an idea for you. So I felt like it was a great time to pitch myself. Um, so, but he was already fully aware the of the pitch. Bonus. Now it's just he oh said he God. said he said to email him. Did you ever email him? I, you know what, he didn't. Oh, I, I, email, I, 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 so I didn't know if like I was supposed to. You didn't, so he didn't give you the email. He didn't give it to. He was like email me, and I was like okay, I will. And then he walked away, and I was like wait. Uh, I'll well, just DM him. He's on yeah. Instagram, Twitter. Just Tony, DM him. Yeah. What's wrong with you? There's a couple ways to communicate with people these days, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> just, just one or two. Oh, wait, there's 6,000. Do you guys ever get, okay, question. I have a group of friends that I'm on. I have a text chat with. I have a Facebook 
chat with like all of a, all the same five people and we'll get in it's just so funny how you get into like full-on conversations on instagram and then you're on your chat like on the actual chat and then you're like wait i can't find where we were talking about that it was like oh did we talk about that on it and i'm like yeah. let's just focus on <laughs> one but it's it's like it's so interesting you can have this conversation different conversations with the same people on different plot it's a lot to keep up with it's confusing yes it is yeah it's a lot i've yeah uh i don't know so I've funny been, like trying to somewhat go off the grid a little bit like yeah. I've been i think it's good so I yeah social media, social media media i can't even talk see uh, <laughs> <laughs> too much green drink no cocktail yeah. <laughs> little, little um, something in there. i've been trying to just avoid social media as much as possible i think i i'm more i'm not even really active on twitter i just kind of retweet the fans and kind of like and all that i was gonna say you're pretty active on there on, tw I just, on, the, on twitter you yeah yeah retweet. I just, I that's like the one way that I can kind of feel are kind of, I want to always give the fans a little bit of like, I see you, you know, like mm -hmm. I see yeah. you and I appreciate you taking the time to like message me on Twitter or, or supporting our show. So it's like, yes, if it's just me retweeting and putting a heart and sending them love, like that yeah. just makes me feel good. And um, yeah, I just want to show that I appreciate their love and support, but so because of the show is why I still stay a little bit more active on Twitter, but everything else, Instagram, all of that, I'm trying to just avoid. I feel like I'm more yeah. active on social media now. Like I can't stop looking at people's stories and, and replying to them. I really should stop. I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah, you should. Thank you. Thank you. You're myself. obsessed with what? TikTok. I just did you guys I can't get videos? on that thing. My my it's wife wants to do not. this. Right. Why? Oh my god. Why? There is a video that I just saw. Oh god. My my son, my son and my wife got into a full on fight in the kitchen because they were trying to emulate this TikTok with the, the feet or whatever and then they turn into the the feet and my wife is a choreographer. So she got really she's like Mason, it's on the one and then the backside of the foot is on the two. And my son was oh, like, as God. if he was like Mikhail Baryshnikov, uh-uh, uh-uh, it's on the three. It's on the three, mom. <laughs> no, I, so TikTok to me is like toxic right now in my house. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I tried, TikTok. Tammy, I really did doesn't try, bring but us every together. time I go what? on, I'm it's like, like an episode oh of Dance God, Moms. So it is total freaking Dance Moms, I really Dance did Sons. A, a TikTok, but I wanted to tell you guys, a friend sent me this video i'll have to send it to i guess you know i can send it to eric and stacy personally and then we can just like pass it along but it's this video about like like a whole thing about like tiktok and how like it's a way that the chinese government is like using it to like hack into like it's a crazy thing oh it's like god a cool well is it a conspiracy theory oh, or is this their factual yeah, i don't know no, but look at that it's gonna make you upset. Don't like, don't awesome. look at that stuff. We have another guest joining us. Just uh -oh. so. <laughs> okay. let's bring them in. Is on she the fresh off her of Peloton? Glass of rose. Oh, it's Paul. Hey, Sal. And here is. Is he wearing a shirt? What? Is he wearing a shirt? <laughs> We're kicking him out if he is. <laughs> Who is he? Did you? Oh, oh there he is. is. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Paul, oh, say something. Hi. Where is Paul? You, speak. You I can't. Paul speak. speak. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hey, Paul. Look at all these friendly faces. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. There's Paul. Like Hi, gorgeous. How you doing? <laughs> you know what he looks like right now? You look like you're on a ship passing Saturn behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> I managed to get out. I managed to get out before the, they, they locked down the whole planet. Good. How are you, man? You hanging in there? Pretty good. This this has come in handy. Uh, <laughs> you were playing a game. You were understanding my No, it's out. <laughs> That was the whole a show on this, right? <laughs> Esther, yes. <laughs> this has been keeping me handy. Hold on. <laughs> I was just kidding. Was just Guys, kidding. I just want to oh, hug no, all of you right now. I'm just like, let's do a big virtual Zoom hug. Here you go. Oh. Oh. That, that, just feel, that just felt weird. Oh, this is, is this so just nice. 
just for us or are people watching this? People, <laughs> this people is for us. Watching, we're, we're Wait, is watching. This for people watching this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're online, girl. Yeah, we <laughs> We're still, we're still live on our, on our audition day show, and we, we were like, oh, this would be great to do a quarantine. Right. You have to do this every in. day just for, like, we could do this, Tony, That's for, like, hours and hours and hours. I swear. <laughs> you could bring adding a new person on. It'd be awesome. Stacy, since, yeah, since Paul, oh, since Paul, Paul just joined Stacy, pour him a glass of rosé, please. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Hold okay. on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our Rose all day how are you doing girl. paul i'm doing good yeah um you know obviously everybody's trying not to go too crazy but i feel like a, a life as a more or less unsuccessful actor has prepared me for all this time <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm used to financial and uh, work, you know, uh, insecurity. So oh. welcome to my world, everybody. Yes, right. <laughs> brilliant. I found it. That's brilliant. See, oh. she's pouring you a glass of rosé, Paul. Oh, darling. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. Ready? It's, it's, gonna, it's, the it's gonna magically turn into whiskey when it gets into my glass somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I see you? Didn't I see you on social pouring tequila or something? What is this drink challenge that you took? Oh, that it wasn't really a challenge. It was just. Uh, sorry, hold on one second. I've oh, yeah, just gone with my phone. Frozen. Um, Did you pay your bill, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. It still looks good, frozen. That's a. Oh, it's sweet. Look, he's, he's frozen. Done. I'm back. Am I back? Am I back? There you are. Oh, there you are. All right. Yeah, no, it was just a, a, a online, a, just an amazing film critic friend of mine that I haven't talked to in, in ages, just out of nowhere on Twitter was like, and he doesn't drink usually, but he was like, I'm sending you a drink. So I was like, well, I, I must reply. I can't, I can't ignore that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's not so much of a challenge. It's more just, I was, be, you know, I was being polite. <laughs> it's more like your friend calling you up and saying, drink something for God's sake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, okay. I like it. I think I'll do that tonight. I mean, it's not exactly a challenge, but it's something you really want to do and probably were already doing. No, it's it's a lug. It's no challenge to me to have a drink. <laughs> it's a character study, though. I got to keep up on Brady's. You know, this makes me feel more attached to Brady. That's right. It's, it's, work. Oh, it's method. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're drinking water then, Eric? Of course, it's water, Stacy. I wouldn't do a Zoom and drink. That'd be unprofessional. <laughs> That's good coloring in it. Baby Sunday. <laughs> What are you drinking? Is that tea? Who, who, yeah. No one is drinking tea. tea. <laughs> what I love though, she's got it in a solid glass. You can't tell what it is. Ah. Ah. And mm, ah. Smart. Oh, a of green tea with turmeric. Oh, that sounds lovely. It's really Tony, good. What's in your, in your Brady Pub cup? Just one. Uh, Lin Lindsay is saying you need to let her into the meeting. There she is. No. Oh. Where is she? Where is she? It's a it's a bigger party, Lindsay. Oh, there she is. Hello, Lindsay. Hello. <laughs> I can't see her. No. She's right there. She's wearing purple. Everyone's in purple. Today. Everyone looks so cute and cozy. I, I know. love it. You just are you? Just film the war. I love it. Can you see us, Lindsay? <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 Everyone, this is this is Lindsay's official debut on Dish and Days. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> so, welcome to the welcome club. To the we'll have your membership card laminated. <laughs> oh my! Swear to God, if I don't get a club membership card, there you are. There she is. <laughs> I couldn't see her. <laughs> and that cute little cricket. Put your thing on. I it on the grid one so you can see everybody that was. Yeah. How do you do it? I can't like, see I, everybody on an iPhone though. You okay. can only see four people at a time. Oh, hey, yeah. are you on your computer? <laughs> Tony, remember I told you I have to borrow computers from everybody? Well, my daughter's decided she would take it away. So I just stuck <laughs> on my iPhone. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Lindsay, how are you holding up? Pardon? How are you holding up during this whole quarantine? We're, we're suddenly having a quarantine party in here. Right. Can I just be honest? I'm, I actually, there's really nothing different for the quarantine. <laughs> Life as usual. Yeah. 
I mean, it's like it's it's, it's like being backburnered. It's like I'm being backburnered for a very long <laughs> <laughs> And that's bad. You like, you you, have, you you feel like Lucas. My day to day. I love Brian. I want Brian front burner every day. Oh, right. That crazy guy. I think hey, Lindsay, how was that uh how was that root beer float? Because it looked pretty uh, delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. A and W root beer's got that frosty, frosty mug taste. Oh, A and W root beer's got, like got that frosty yeah, mug taste. Yeah. 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 I went to A and W. So, Lindsay, I want to thank you. You you've given me all of your viewing suggestions. I've taken. I watched the Tiger King because of you, and I was like, oh, oh good. Crap. Carol Baskin. Have now you watched Pickles? I'm on it now. <laughs> what is it? I'm an hour <laughs> into it. I'm an hour okay. in. I, wait, hang on. I'm telling you. Tick, okay, so we got it off of the, if you loved Tiger King, here are the other documentaries you should watch. Uh -huh. This one is called Tickled. And Tickled? It's, yep. it's on Hulu. Hang on. It gets weird. It's about, <laughs> it's about the competitive, the world of competitive endurance Tickling. That's what? <laughs> this is intense, oh. man. And then, how long do these people go? Like, that's not I know how right. it They is, don't even but... care. This documentary is so crazy. They don't even get to like the tickling stuff. The tickling <laughs> stuff. That's the calmest part of the documentary. Yeah, that's irrelevant. So it's like, like how Tiger Kim kept going, like, oh, Carol's really good. Just kidding. Carol definitely killed her husband. Like, <laughs> 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 That's what Tickle does. Okay, okay, Tickle. I'll add, a, I'll add it to the queue. Tickle. Yeah, all these true life documentaries are making Days of Our Lives seem a lot more realistic. It's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they are. So crazy after all, are we? Yeah. I straight Lizzie. up saw a 2020 switched at birth one. Wait, what? On 2020, there was an episode that was being all about being switched at birth. <laughs> and did everybody, did everybody yeah. forgive the guy that did it? Of course they did. <laughs> no, no way. He had his reasons. <laughs> By the way, our, our little family, I'm sorry, it wasn't family feud. It was, what did we do? Uh, oh, the, oh, the oh, newlywed yeah. game? It was pretty funny. I have to say, for how, for how resistant we were, yeah, for, for the mood that personally I was in when we walked in uh, versus how it actually came out, I was, I was really happy with it. What was so funny about it was that our, you guys had just shot a scene, so you're all like giddy and free, and Lindsay right. and I were just about to go and do a really heavy scene, and we're like, oh, I've got to do this right now. Oh, right. It came out real funny. Paul and I are actually super grumpy through that entire thing. <laughs> 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 I, I think the only happy person at that thing was Stacy. Stacy, <laughs> yeah. I, I oh, come Stacey's on. Stacy's the happiest person everywhere. <laughs> Every, ever. all the time. Rose all day. day. Stacy <laughs> <laughs> does have a ball of it. Like I literally wish I could take your energy and put it in like a little veil and wear it around me, so that way. Yeah. I can yeah. Well, if you could turn it into an essential oil, Stacey would already have it because she is, has all the oil. Who are you making them for people? <laughs> I'm Stacey, making masks for people. Ooh, <laughs> no. I want one. I'll make all right, I'll send you one. I'll, but I, I like do it to your personality and how I feel about you, and then I yeah. say, so I got some. So if anybody there. wants one, Maybe then I'll. I'll come I actually, Stacey, I need a mask. Oh, yeah, you should, yeah, you should probably just wear that Nicole mask. <laughs> <laughs> Indestructible. Yeah, I think it's a little expensive you. and they didn't give it to me. So I don't know if I, I could, you know, I could use the Susan's teeth. I think, uh, I think <laughs> Ari said she has she? the mask on her mantle. She does? I think so, yeah. Is that, is, is that oh, what she does? Yeah, it's a bit creepy. Yeah. Stole it. So. Just a little bit. Or yeah, she, I could creepy. say something really bad. Does she have Sean put it on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It was bad, I'm sorry. I was I was gonna go for it, but I was like, man, that's terrible. But I... <laughs> <laughs> you are four years like, old, yeah. you know that? Oh, <laughs> four oh. years old. What would it be like to, uh, this is going, this is why we don't have Rosé, while we're doing a talk. <laughs> Paul, True we're talking she's good. about she's all gone. the streets. Paul. Oh. Oh. Yes. Where so. are you? you? I know you're this in a spaceship. spaceship. Yeah, this is, this is our spaceship room. No, this is our, this is our spare little, um, sort of guest room. 
in, in the flat. Um, are there lights it, behind there? That's are yeah. Car up? Carmen put Carmen. You're just quite bored, like everybody else is. She uh, on top of putting this lovely tapestry up. She then started putting Christmas lights in concentric <laughs> circles just to make it extra festive around here. Uh, yeah, but it's perfect. Wow. It's, it's good for doing Zoom meetings. It's very it professional. <laughs> Be good for doing blow, too. <laughs> it's got a 70s motif to it. It's yeah, pulling yeah, you from yeah, hyperspace yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think Janice Joplin's going to jump out from behind the desk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, guys, they, they just told me that we have to wrap up our... Oh. our can somebody give us some dialogue to say to each other so I can just scratch this itch real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me, uh, no, I, I don't have a script, Paul. I'm sorry. What are you doing yeah. here? What are you Paul, doing here? Paul, are you ready? I'm gonna slap you right now. You're oh, ready? okay, okay, I'm ready. Yes. Right. Okay, ready? Which hand? Band, okay, I'm right hand, so it'll go that way. You ready? <laughs> okay. Ready? The opposite way. And? Go over your right shoulder. <laughs> oh! It's amazing. Snap out of it. What are you doing? Amazing. Did you get? I, oh my God, Lonnie! What are you I can't doing? Help myself, please, don't be upset with me. I love you. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Brady, oh, Brady, Brady, Brady enters. What's going on? What are you doing here, <laughs> Lonnie? Aren't you supposed to be with you? <laughs> I don't even know what Sarah, our story where is. Are you? Sarah. So you're not a nun either, are you? <laughs> I don't know what surgery because Sarah does everything. Sarah, do you think our baby is going to make it? No. Is that a pediatric surgeon? Sarah, a brain surgeon. Sarah, do you know what freaking baby I'm talking about? <laughs> oh my god. O P G Y N. I don't know. Oh. O P G Y N. Really nice. This was really nice to see everyone. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, I miss Just all you guys. Tony, Tammy, Michael, and Chelsea. We're so I'm glad that you all. Thank you, you for coming. coming. Thanks great. for having us. You guys look great. Good to see you, man. And Good to see everyone's doing well. Yeah. We're trying. Well, I would Most say. Good to Keeping see you. Our energy up. Good. Thank you guys for, for popping. Good. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. It's not like we're doing it, so please have a yeah. <laughs> And if we, if we all survive this thing, if we all survive this thing, I'm sure Cricket and I would love to come back and do it for real in the actual studio once once it's yeah. been sterilized and yeah. fumigated, obviously. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. It'll, all, it'll all be wiped down even before, before I get in there because that's a requirement. We'll have, we'll Thank have you. Another, like, <laughs> Good luck. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hang in there. Bye, Thank Sal. you. Kisses, Toodles, guys. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Funny. That was oh a lot gosh. of fun. Amazing. Definitely unexpected. Um, so I, I, we're done. So thank you guys for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Find us on the social. And um, we'll have another full recap and maybe another quarantine check. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Bye, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Guys. bye. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.